To start, we pull braided biaxial dry carbon fiber sleevings over each of the three smart tools to create the shear webs and part of the structure of the control surface. The smart tools are fixtured together to prevent shifting and then pre-shaped dry carbon fiber noodles are secured at each smart tool interface. Next, two layers of quasi-isotropic carbon fiber fabric called Kiso are laid into the mold to form the lower skin of the control surface. Veo can be attached to the outside of the fabric to assist with resin and air propagation. We then place the laid up smart tools onto the mold on top of the lower skin and one layer of the upper skin fabric is pulled over top of the tools. Next, multiple custom form noodles are placed into the trailing edge of the control surface and sealed by the lower skin. Finally, the second layer of the upper skin is pulled over the first layer and secured in place. Now that the layup is complete, we begin to close the mold. We place the upper half of the clamshell mold onto the lower half and secure it with bolts. Next, we attach the first set of end plates called intermediate seal plates. Once these are secured with bolts, vacuum bags are pulled through each of the smart tools and sealed to the intermediate seal plates. This setup provides a vacuum and pressure barrier between the internal tool cavity and the dry carbon fiber preform. This will allow us to maintain vacuum and pressure throughout the process. After the vacuum bags are secured, the second set of end plates, called pressure plates, are attached to the mold. This will allow the internal cavity of the mold to be pressurized to 75 PSI of pressure, creating a reverse autoclave-like effect inside the mold. We are now ready to begin the infusion process. The mold is placed into an oven and plumb for infusion. We attach two resin exit lines and one resin inlet line to the mold. We will be making the control surface using resin transfer molding. Next, the mold and resin is preheated and resin is infused to fully wet out the carbon fiber preform. Once complete, the exit and inlet lines are closed, allowing the pressurized smart tools to create a hydrostatic force to consolidate the preform in voids during cure. After the cure is complete, we remove the mold from the oven and disassemble both end plates. Next, vacuum bags are removed from each cavity and the elastic smart tools are extracted with low force from the cured composite part. After extraction, each smart tool is placed into the preheated reforming mold. The upper lid of the reforming mold is secured to the lower half with bolts. Vacuum bags are pulled through the smart tools and sealed to the mold, and vacuum is pulled to reset the geometry of the smart tools. Once cooled, the now rigid smart tools are ready to begin the next production cycle. Using the combination of techniques shown in this video, including smart tooling, low-cost raw materials, and resin transfer molding, enables the design and fabrication of low-cost composite parts with structural integrity and weight neutrality when compared to conventional prepreg and autoclave cured components. When comparing the Hawthorne method of manufacture to the industry standard manufacturing method of prepreg and autoclave cure, we commonly achieve cost savings of 20 to 50% over the baseline.